UK there are four native species of frogs and toads and also several introduced species. In this video I'm going to show you how to identify the natives and take a quick look at some of the introduced species that you also might encounter. The most common and frequently seen species in the UK is the aptly named common frog. These can grow to between 3 and 4 inches in length and come in a variety of colours. The most common colour is greeny yellow with darker blotches and bands but they can be found in anything from bright red to dark brown and almost black. They have a dark patch behind each eye and an obvious external eardrum. This is called a tympanum. They also have two lighter coloured raised ridges that run along the length of their bodies on either side. When moving, the common frog usually hops with their powerful back legs and can cover up to three foot in one leap. This species can be seen from spring to autumn in damp places in and around water and migrate to shallow pools to spawn between January and April each year. Throughout the winter they hibernate underneath rocks, logs and leaf litter and occasionally the males will choose to hibernate at the bottom of their breeding ponds. The second most common species in the UK and one that is sometimes encountered in large numbers is the common toad. One of the characteristics of this species is the large paratoid glands that are just above each eye. These can produce a noxious substance that is foul tasting and deters predators. The common toad's skin is usually rather warty and they can be found in colours varying from chalky red to dark brown. Male toads grow to around 3 inches, whereas females can get a little bit bigger, up to 4 inches in length. Unlike common frogs, common toads prefer deeper pools to breed in, and usually migrate to these ponds during the nights surrounding a full moon in February or March. The spawn of this species isn't like the clumps of the common frog, but rather two lines of eggs that is wrapped around aquatic vegetation. Toads can tolerate drier habitats and can be found far from water when they are not spawning. Just like the common frogs and the other species of frogs and toads in the UK, common toads hibernate throughout winter, but this is never underwater. This species is unfortunately pretty famous for getting ran over. Unlike the common frog, this species prefers to crawl rather than hop, and this combined with their sight faithful breeding migrations means they cross roads slowly in large numbers and often do not make it to the other side. If you are interested in helping toads on roads, google toad patrols in your area and I'm sure there will be a local group operating who would welcome the additional hands. The natterjack toad is pretty rare in the UK and is only found in a few coastal sites. This toad is smaller than the common toad and unlike them, natterjack males have an extending throat pouch that they can use for calling to attract a mate. The spawn of this species is similar to that of the common toad in that it is laid in strings, but natterjacks only produce one line of eggs instead of two. Although the general appearance of a natterjack is similar to a common toad, there are a few main differences. Natterjacks are smaller, they grow to only two and a half inches, they always have a lighter line known as a dorsal stripe running down the center of their backs and their warts are often lighter colored than the rest of their body. Their color does not vary as much as other species and they are usually green to brown. Natterjacks are highly protected in the UK so if you think you may have found one do not disturb it and seek expert advice. The northern pool frog was a native species until the 1990s when they were deemed extinct in the wild. There has since been a successful reintroduction at a few sites in East Anglia. The pool frog grows to around the same size as a common frog but their appearance is quite different. They have a light dorsal stripe and are usually dark green with some black or brown blotches on the body. The males have a cheek pouch on each side that they use to call out to attract females. The pool frog spawns late into the year around June or July time and their spawn is similar to that of the common frog but with smaller clumps and the eggs are slightly lighter. The midwife toad is native to most of Europe and Northern Africa and there are introduced populations across the UK. 
They grow to around an inch and a half in length and are called midwife toads because the males carry the fertilised eggs around their legs until the tadpoles are ready to hatch. The American Bullfrog is a very large species that is successfully bred in the wild in the UK. They can grow up to 8 inches in length and are a voracious predator eating birds, mammals and even members of their own species. If you see one of these in the wild in the UK it is important to report it as they can devastate natural ecosystems. The edible frog and the marsh frog are closely related, similar in appearance and can be found throughout mainly southern England. They belong to the same family as the pool frog, the southern variant of which is also a non-native invasive to the UK. There is a variety of colour variation between these species and sometimes they can look very similar to the reintroduced northern pool frog. Edible frogs can get a bit larger than pool frogs and marsh frogs and as their name suggests they are the species that is eaten in parts of Europe. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, like, share and subscribe and also check out some of the other stuff on this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.